to analyze some sequential art, I have picked a spread out of um, Arkham Asylum uh, by Grant Morrison and Dave McKean. Um, both Grant Morrison and Dave McKean both uh, sketch, draw, and write. But this was written by Grant Morrison and uh, and illustrated by Dave McKean. So when you're studying things like sequential art, there's a lot going on. Um, it's not just about uh, making a comic book. It's about writing, editing. It's about layout. It's about graphic design. It's about illustration and drawing and painting. So it's a huge discipline, which um, I think should be taken pretty seriously. Uh, and you should give some consideration to all the different things that go into uh, a graphic novel. So I'm going to do a compositional trace here, um, and what I like about Arkham Asylum is that it breaks up the convention of uh, the layout of comic books and graphic novels, even though it's over 25 years old now, it's still kind of one of the more groundbreaking pieces. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to do a compositional trace. Uh, in one layer, and I'm just going to work with the layout itself because I think the layout and the way the panels work is really interesting. And because this spreads over the uh, fold of the perfect binding, you'll see some uh, some information cut off on the inside. And what's cool about this is that the panels aren't straight up and down. Uh, they're not oriented perfectly. They get cut off the page sometimes, and they're kind of at odd angles. I think that brings a lot of interest to it. So I'm also going to go and, and ahead and trace in the text boxes too. I think that's the other major layout section. And then we'll come back on the second layer and do all more of the illustration stuff. And when you're tracing out these kinds of things, um, be loose with it. You know, don't trace exactly what's there, otherwise you might as well copy. So what's interesting about this sort of layer is that it creates some motion to it. If we were to, to kind of connect the dots with all of these things, they kind of have this little wavy arc to them. Same thing on the top. Um, so I think your composition kind of has more to do with a breakup like that than it does with these with these boxes. And you can see that the information kind of flows in this sort of with a little bit of directionality here and kind of leads you into this progression. And uh, there are a lot of things in this panel sequence that lead you into a, a progression like that. So when we go ahead and start tracing out kind of the what's in the panels, um, I think it's important to look at the background because the background has a lot going on. Um, we're presented with uh, sort of a clock in the background and a lot of gears, and that imagery is repeated several times. There's some shadows back here which are kind of prevalent. But this arc is the main segment. So if we turn that off, now we've got a more sophisticated design going on. Then if we add another, uh, another layer and then go into the actual composition within, we can start tracing out figures and how they're emphasized, and any kind of major lines within the actual drawing itself. And you can be too careful doing this. You know, you don't um, you don't want to get bogged down in details here. 
um, because we're, what we're going at is is composition. We're not going for uh, individual marks and and drawing style type elements. If there's text, you can just kind of put a box around the text. Any kind of focal points I would note down as well. So when we turn off the background layer, we're kind of left with that, which is a pretty good treatment of what's going on with the design. Now, I think it's also good when you're analyzing stuff like this to go back and analyze anything else that is contributing to the progression. So if we go back into the background, this is monochrome, right? And it's color scheme with blue being the main monochrome. The first panel is mostly is predominantly yellow, um, but it's also got orange and green and then this little bit of red down here. Um, then here in these three panels, what we're mostly dealing with is we're transitioning from the blue, uh, and we're going into black and white and red over here. This is predominantly red, right? Um, with black and white and maybe a little bit of yellow tone to it, um, but mostly just black and white. Um, and then the last panel, it, it kind of unifies everything. There's a little bit of blue there's red, there's, there's uh, black and white, and, um, and a little bit of yellow in the skin tone. So what we kind of have is, is uh, several degrees of progression overlaying, overlaying each other and all contributing into sort of one main uh, overall progression.